Hi, Seth here from macOS10screencasts.com. In this review, I'd like to show you Blogo. Blogo is a blog editor application. You can get it from drinkbrainjuice.com slash blogo. This uh, review is part of our blog editor roundup. And to start, we go to our Flickr page where we have this picture. And this picture I'd like to have in my blog post. So I go to all sizes here, uh, choose the middle size and save this file to my desktop and hide the application. Now this is uh, Blogo's main interface. Blogo is able to handle many different uh, blogging engines you can see here and even Twitter accounts which means um, we can add microblogs here. I create my microblog now, um, set and a very long long password, click login, then the microblog viewer appears and downloads all recent um, tweets from Twitter. This takes a while and once it's done they will appear in the microblog viewer where we can view our tweets from our uh, following people. You can view your replies only. Just click the replies and then the microblog viewer downloads the replies to you. You can view direct messages, the global timeline, your tweets and your saved searches from Twitter. Okay, now let's say we want to tweet something. Uh, just enter a tweet in Blogos text field and once you're done with that, just click post and Blogo starts uploading or posting your message. You get a nice little growl notification that tells you that the status update has been sent. Now we can switch back to our main timeline and there you see our tweet appears. In the preferences, additional blocks can be added. Just click the plus button, enter your information like I'm doing now with my um, English speaking blog. And once you're completed, just click add the block will be downloaded, the comments viewer appears where you can review all feedback you have received from uh, your last blog post or so. Okay, in the options from the blog we can set a default thumbnail size and we can set how we'd like to view those uh, pictures in a new window or with Lightbox. Blogger then tells us that we should install the Lightbox plugin. Let's set our default thumbnail size to 500 width and 300 height. We can set how many recent posts should be downloaded or if we want to post a tweet for new entries. If you want to add more blogs, just click plus here or minus to delete them. In the editing tab, we can set if we like to check spelling as we type or if we want to view the words and character count. I see this on the lower right corner of Blogger's main window. In the images tab we can set options related to images, pings can be set, the interface can be customized. We can set advanced options like using a text filter when posting, markdown, smarty pants, textile. Everything is supported by Blogo. This is really great if you're using markdown for your blog. And now we'd like to create our first blog entry. We close the preferences and go to the Blogo main editor editing field where we can enter our custom title. Let's say we were posting an entry about gear from Musikmesse. Drop in an image, then the image editor appears where we can set if you'd like to work with the full size image or the thumbnail. We can link to the full size image or another source. We can crop the image so that we can have a preview image and then view the full size image in our predefined light box. Make it a little bigger, about 200 pixels. We can fit crop to image if you'd like. We can set a specific size and when we're done, we're clicking done and then the image will be inserted into our blog post where we can align it on the left or to the right or to the middle and we can switch to the HTML editor 
if you want, but I really can't recommend using it because the rich text editor is so much more powerful. So we are switching back to this one right now. Okay, let's say we enter some text for our blog entry now. This is a post about the Cork MS10. Now let's add some tags for this blog entry. Normal tags are just written plain and um, categories can be set by a hash in front of every so-called tag. We can switch to a full screen editor if you'd like. We can set text uh, ornaments like bold text or italic text. We can link text like this music message text. Just enter the URL in the appearing window and click link to set a link. You can additionally set the frontmost Safari tab to be linked, which makes linking so much faster. In the lower corner of Blogger's interface, we can preview our post. And there we'd like to s use the generic template for now. Uh, this looks quite good, so we, so we can upload it as an article or as a draft. I won't do this right now because I don't want to create a new blog entry for the screencast. If you'd like to edit your old entries, just click Edit and the draw appears where all your uh, old blog entries are listed. Just click on them and they will be downloaded by Blogger and you can re-edit them if you want. You can set a publication date from the set date uh, menu. You can go straight to your blog for right from Blogo if you want. You can delete posts. You can set track packs, custom fields, um, which is very great for power users. You can edit your Slack, which is the short URL for your blog post. I won't do this right now as well. Um, as you see, Blogo is a really, really simplistic, small editor for your blog. It is uh, very powerful underneath and it is even able to handle all your Twitter people uh, from Twitter. And this makes this program so powerful, uh, even if it doesn't look that powerful when you open it the first time. Okay. If you'd like to win one of three licenses for this application, just go to our blog, leave us a comment with what feature you like most in Blogo, and hopefully see you next time. Bye.